Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to use the Arranger track in Persona Studio 1.6 Artist, and it's, I believe it's in all the versions, but how to use it to make the most out of your music production. It's a nice tool that can help you speed along the process of beat making. So let's dive right into it. So this is the Arranger track. If you do not see this Arranger track on your screen, you want to click right here and then click on Arranger track. If you don't want to see the Arranger track and it's clicked, you unclick it and it goes away. But we want to see it. So now in this particular example, I have a loop already made. A loop as in the intro, the chorus and a verse. That's all I got. Now I can copy and paste this throughout, you know, select them all, copy and paste, wop, wop, wop. That's an easy way to do it too. But if you like me, a lot of times you want to see stuff, you're very visual. And if you want to make several edits in between, change stuff around, depending on how complicated your song is, that's where the arranger track comes in into play. So what you want to do is click your paint tool and drag it all the way to the end of your loop. Now what I do is come back where I just said I know the uh, intro, chorus, and verse start and I'll take the knife tool and I'll chop that up. Now we got three sections broken down but they are all named the same thing. So if to correct that you want to click on it, right click it, and then change it to whatever section it is. In this case we know that's the chorus and in this case right click we know that's the verse. Now you got each one of these sec sections visually labeled and broken down. As you can see, it makes the process so much easier and visually pleasing to have it broke down. And if you got a real complicated song, this is going to really help you a lot. So if you don't want to have to copy and paste all of this throughout, you know, blah, 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 blah. All you have to do is click on the section that you want to add somewhere else. Click copy move your cursor to the spot in the arranger track that you want to paste it and click paste boom you see how easy that was now we got a course uh at the end and then you can do the same thing with the verse we'll copy that and we'll go to where i want to put it and you want to add the verse now let's rewind for a bit let's take that one out so you're probably saying well why don't you can't you just select them both I'm glad you asked. You actually can. If you know that this is going to be the same, you don't want the intro because the intro is just going to be the intro. But if you know you're going to have another chorus, another verse, then you just select them both. Copy. Move it to where you want to put it in the arranger track. And paste. And if you want to keep doing it, you can do it as long as you want. And paste. Now, we got this intro right here. Okay. We know this is not going to be a uh, intro but let's make it easy we know it's gonna be similar to an outro so we copied it move the cursor and now we can change the name to outro and let's just say you want to change it up just a little bit I'm just randomly doing some stuff and then you're like man I don't know let's move this I think this will sound better at the beginning of the song Boom, we just moved that outro to the beginning. You see how easy it is just to make adjustments? So if you have like a like a bridge breakdown or whatnot, and then uh, boom, you can move it, clear that space. If you're trying to, and then you can say, oh, okay, let's do all events. If you can, uh, if you just want to move that whole thing back because you see what I just did. You just highlight it all and move the whole song back. I feel like this is a lot easier, a lot quicker than trying to select each track and maybe you, you can't see that you copied everything because that line is kind of light. You don't even got to worry about that. So this is a very quick way to make the most out of your beat and to get things fast. I mean, you see how quick I did that. And now you can see like there's a visual representation. So if you recording somebody and this work will work very good if you have someone that bring in a beat, a two track beat, use your arranger track to uh, chop that beat up into sections, chorus, verse, intro, however the beat is. And then you can add verses in a beat that's two minutes long, two minutes long. 
and you need a three minute beat, you ain't got to keep going through and try to figure out where the loop points is. You find them one time and then you can say, okay, okay, uh, let me move, let me add another verse. Boom, you just copy that section with this and you add another verse. That way, when you're recording somebody on a two track, on a, from a two track beat, then you can easily line up. You know, you want to start two bars before the verse comes in. Boom, boom. And two, it doesn't matter if you have the tempo. It does not matter. Just make sure that you have it right on one. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. This your boy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.